Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at how we can apply a drill operation to our first project here. So we're going to head over to the main toolbar and select Stock Tool Pass, and you'll notice within 1CNC there's two different specific operations for drilling holes. We have the Drill Hole Wizard, which I'll demonstrate a little bit later on, and then we have Drill Single. Now, even though this says Drill Single, you most definitely can drill multiple holes with this. Let's grab this. I'm just going to left-hand mouse click. As soon as I do that, we get this little dialog box, and this simply is just how do we want to select the hole. I'm going to use Arc Center, and that way I can take my cursor and just left-hand mouse click. When we're done, just right-hand mouse click and then hit Finish. As soon as we do that, we get our first uh, dialog box, and again, just like these machining operations, it's the Select Tool. This is where we manually define a tool. I already have the turret position in here and that. That's way too fast. Let's change that to how about 0.1 for a feed rate. All that looks good. We'll click next on here. Okay, then you've got your you've got your rapid plane here, and you have your initial Z plane, your retract plane, and then your final Z depth. And I'm going to say all this looks good. Here we have a different ways to output the drill uh, the drilling within your CNC code. We have machining cycles and automatic custom. Machining cycles will output a can cycle. Now automatic custom will output just rapid and feed moves. All right, so if I select machining cycles and click next, this gives us a list of the different machining cycles we can use. Uh, if I go back here and select automatic custom, now you can manually define how we're going to drill. All right, because this is going to output again just G0s, G1s, rapid and feed moves, and so on. I'm going to go back and change this to machine cycles because I, I definitely want a can cycle here. I'm going to go with the G83 deep hole drilling cycle, and then I'm going to use a peck depth of two millimeters. We'll click finish, and there we go. There's our drilling operation. All right. Now, before I uh, finish this video, I just want to point something out really quick. Notice that uh, we can't see the uh, previous toolpath. Now, we do that on purpose, and the reason why we do that is we don't want to clutter the screen with a lot of toolpath. One CNC hides the toolpath, so it's easy to pick your geometry for subsequent machining. If you want to see previous toolpath, all you have to do is just take your cursor and just left-hand mouse click. And we definitely have tools for back plotting the toolpath or, or making the toolpath so it stays on the screen there. It's not that it's deleted, it's just temporarily hidden. And you can see that as soon as I rotate, if I were to pan or zoom in and zoom out, the toolpath automatically gets hidden. It's really a nice benefit uh, within one CNC. So if you want to see an operation, just left hand mouse click. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.